What is up, Guru Gang? If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you have been a part of the gang, then thank you so much for clicking on to today's video, you guys. Today, I will be sharing with y'all my empties from the month of August. I told you guys I was not gonna really do monthly empties anymore, but honestly, I have been emptying a lot of things. And also, a couple of you guys were asking me about my project Use It Up and if I was gonna film an update. Honestly, y'all, in regards to that, I just don't think I'm a project use it up kind of girl. Even though I have a lot of stuff from my project in this empties, and I think I even have some in my last empties video, so check that out if you did not see that. And also check out my project use it up video if you did not see that. I just don't think I'm really gonna film those going forward just because I like to just use things when I feel like using them. I feel like I've done so many declutters that I don't really have too many like older products in my collection that I just absolutely need to get rid of. So I'm just not gonna be doing those videos going forward, but you guys will be happy to know that I have a lot of stuff that I emptied in this video that I did want to go ahead and use up. So without further ado, if you guys are into empties videos, if you guys are into seeing all of the amazing products that I use, love, repurchase, all that good stuff, then make sure you are subscribed first off because I have so many returning viewers that are not actually subscribed. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's go ahead and start with the home care item. So I have emptied so many candles, y'all. And honestly, I have been on a Bath & Body Works no buy since the spring, I wanna say May or April. So I've done it really well. I have not shopped at Bath & Body Works, y'all, all summer in the beginning of this fall season. So. I've been doing really well. I have gone through so much of my candles to where I think I may have maybe around 20 candles left, which I know for some people that may be a lot, but if you guys have been following me since the beginning of my YouTube journey, y'all know I am very much a candle girl and I have had hundreds and hundreds of candles in my collection at a time at a certain point. So I go through this phase where I stop buying and I just use up what I have and I have gotten my candle collection down to a pretty, pretty small amount for me, which means I can definitely allow myself to splurge on the next candle sale. So y'all can expect a candle haul from me soon whenever there's another Bath & Body Works candle sale. So if y'all have tried any of the new faucets, if there's anything that I absolutely need to try candle wise, y'all let me know because y'all know for the most part, I've been a little underwhelmed with the performance of the more recent Bath & Body Works candles. I have not been wowed in a really, really long time from anything new. So if y'all have tried anything new from them, that's really good, y'all let me know. But just be expecting that in the next few weeks or so, whenever they have another candle sale. But <laughs> let me go ahead and show you guys the stuff that I emptied. The first candle that I emptied, I don't know if this is from either TJ Maxx or Target. I'm pretty sure this brand is from Target, but this is the Midnight Woods Sensational Candle. Um, this is one of those gigantic three wick candles. It smelled pretty good. It burns pretty well all the way down. I'm not really mad at it. I don't think there was anything super memorable or amazing about it. I burned this in my bathroom. It lasted a really, really long time. I like to burn this when I'm just doing like my self care, my facial self care baths, things like that. I just like to have these big gigantic candles because they do fill up a smaller space like a bathroom pretty well. So I did like this one. I would repurchase it if I see it again, but I think I just want something a little bit more fall themed right now. So I will be on the hunt for another really, really large candle to put back in my bathroom now that I'm done with this one. Also burned through this blue spruce and spice. This one was a Christmas candle. And you guys are going to see that I've burned through a lot of holiday candles just because once I get to this point where I just wanna use up a lot of things, I don't really care too much like what seasonal candle I'm burning. I just burn what I feel like burning in that moment. So I burned a lot of holiday candles, y'all. And this one was okay. I don't think this is one that I would run out and repurchase. It was just kind of that fresh, like almost pine tree type of smell. And it had a little bit of a woody, like masculine undertone, but it was pretty nice. Also burned pretty well all the way down, which I feel like I have to say that with Bath the Body Works candles because I just have been having really bad performance with a lot of the more recent releases. So all of these that I've burned pretty much are like older collections and they have burned pretty well. So I will give them that. But yeah, overall, I'm pleased with like a lot of the candles that I burned through this, this go round. They're all mostly Christmas candles and now I'm just in the mood to get fall candles, so. Also burned through this sun tan. This one, y'all, was super strong. Like again, it burned pretty well all the way down, but it was extremely strong to the point where I did have to blow this out a couple times because it was giving me a headache, but 
it was definitely one of those very beachy, almost kind of like spa-like type of candles. The orange yes. blossom in here was just super, super strong. So again, if you want a bee smoke candle, this one usually does perform pretty well. And this was a nice summery tropical scent. Also burned through this frosted cranberry. This is another holiday favorite of mine that I really, really enjoy. Just a really sweet cranberry apple scent. Honestly, I feel like this is just a good year round scent. And this one had pretty great performance as well. It had a pretty good throw. And I just feel like, like I said, the older collections just seem to be a lot stronger than a lot of the new things that we're seeing. So I will definitely repurchase this. This is definitely one that I usually purchase every year. It just puts me in that mood for fall, Christmas type of scents. And it's just, cranberry is one of those scent notes that just smells very holiday-esque. And speaking of holiday s, I also burn through this winter candy apple. Y'all, I really, really love winter candy apple. Like, I know this scent gets a lot of hate, but to me, I just love this scent. I don't really gravitate too much for it body care because usually when I do wear it, it just puts me in the mood for Christmas. It's just like a scent memory association because this scent always comes out with Vanilla Bee Noel during the holiday season. And I just really love it. Like, if you like citrusy apple fragrances i definitely think this is one worth checking out and it absolutely smells like it could be a perfume so if you are a fan of scents like kaoli's eden juicy apple this is definitely one that you might want to check out it just smells like a sugary orange apple candy either you love or you hate this one so yeah and also this one was a beast mode performer as well as i don't know if you guys can tell but like the label actually started burning off because it was so strong and the scent literally was filling the room that I was burning it in. Absolutely love this one. And if we can get one that burns as strongly as this one, I would highly, highly, highly recommend picking this one up. Also burn through this winter berry wreath. This one reminded me a lot of frosted cranberry, except it was just a little bit more of a tart kind of berry scent. And it was kind of had like that snowy effect, like that little bit of powdery snowy vibe. It was nice, it just was not super strong, but I did like it for what it was. Also burned through this cinnamon sugared pecan. I would absolutely repurchase this again. I'm pretty sure I got this for 75% off. I think most of these, honestly, y'all, I got for 75% off during semi-annual sale one year or another. So I absolutely love this. I'm also burning the ice cranberry scone from this collection right now. So y'all will see that in the next empties probably, but I really, really like that one. And this one literally smelled like a bag, like you're opening a bag of freshly glazed cinnamon sugar pecans. That's literally what it smells like. It smells really good. Definitely has me in the mood for more of my fall scents. Burn through this sour melon drop, y'all. Absolutely love this candle. This reminds me a lot of Bath & Body Works um, crisp green apple candle, except this has more of a sour sweet melon smell as opposed to that sour green apple. But this just literally smells like a melon candy. It was a bomb beast mode performer. And this was just a great refreshing sweet summer scent. So I'm very happy I got a chance to experience this. I do think I also have one backup of this, I'm pretty sure. So honestly, I might try to go ahead and burn through that one now just to get it out of the way for what's left of my summer scents because I really don't think I have a whole lot of summer candles left. So yeah, highly recommend and enjoyed this one. Also burned through my beloved wine cellar. If you guys have been following me on here for a while, this was one of my like most beloved fall candles when this first, first, first released some years ago, I hauled this one and went crazy. And I just love it. I just don't think it's as strong again as it was when it was first released, but it's really just a very jammy, rich, sensual, like dark plum stone fruit type of scent. And it just smells really good. It reminds you of wine and it's just super sexy. Like if you were to go into like a very intimate like cigar bar or something, I feel like this would be the type of candle that they burn and there's like jazz music playing. Like that's the vibe with this candle. So I really, really like it. And I do think I have maybe one or two left because I did pick a bunch of these up um, during this past candle day. So I do think I still have a couple more of these. This one, y'all, I definitely have to pick up another one of this year. So this is Winter Woods. Now this is a candle that we usually get every year. I want to say we also get it in the White Barn packaging as well, which if we do, I will definitely be getting the White Barn packaging because the way this burned, y'all, I don't know if you can kind of see, this burned pretty terribly, but the scent itself reminded me a lot of Byredo's Gypsy Water. And this is the type of scent that I would 100% like 
make my home fragrance signature scent. Like if I could just buy one candle year round, it would be something like this because it just has that very sweet, powdery, woody vanilla. And it has a little bit of freshness, but it's still sweet and it just smells so good, y'all. I was addicted to this. Like when I first burned it, I was like, what perfume am I wearing? Cause it smelled so familiar and it finally, helped me realize that it reminded me of Byredo's Gypsy Water. So yeah, y'all, I absolutely love this candle. I'm definitely gonna be stocking up on this this holiday season for sure. And the last candle that I finished is this Ice Dragon Fruit Tea. This was another really fun, refreshing, juicy summer scent. It reminded me a lot of the Starbucks Dragon Fruit Refresher. That's literally what it smelled like. This also had really great performance as well. So I was super happy um, to go through one of these. I kind of wish I got more of them, but it's fine, girl. It was a one and done. I really did enjoy it. If I saw it again, I would definitely pick this up. Okay, y'all, that was 11 candles. I did really, really well with candles. I do have a few soaps here as well. One of my beloved strawberry pound cakes. She is very well loved. This is a very sweet bakery scent that we see every fall and winter come back. Honestly, I think strawberry pound cake is usually in store year round now, I'm pretty sure, but that just shows how popular she is. She literally smells like a strawberry pound cake. I definitely prefer the cleansing gel formula more than the foaming, but I do find that this one leaks a lot more and just makes more of a mess. So that's the only drawback, but I do prefer this packaging, this type of hand soap. So I just find that the foaming ones are a little bit too drying on my hands and I already deal with having dry hands anyway because I have to wash my hands a million times a day for work. So I do try to find the more moisturizing hand soaps. Also finished this iced cinnamon rolls. Now I know I just told you guys I don't really like the foaming formulas, but I found this and the gel formula, this pass SAS for 75% off. So I literally found a bunch of these for a dollar and I just could not pass that up. And I love the smell. This literally reminds me of Kamra by Latafa, that perfume, which if you have not seen my Arabian Fall Fragrances You Need video, definitely check that out, girl. I will link it up top. She's also affordable. This smells like some orange glazed cinnamon rolls, like literally the little Pillsbury ones where you take the glaze and pour it on top as soon as they get out of the oven. That is what this soap, this soap smells like. So I would love for us to get this in like a full body care range. Like these are the type of scents that we need this holiday season. Okay, like in a full body care range, because I feel like we did see this, but it only came out in like a little mini fine fragrance mist. And I was like, girl, we need this in a full range of body care. So let's hope that they see this and we can get something like that this holiday season. Last little hand soap that I emptied is Fiji White Sands. This is just a very classic, refreshing, tropical, fruity, beachy type of scent. I definitely recommend this one. This is just one of those ones that I usually get every year. And I'm just glad that I actually went through it this summer and I didn't have it carrying over into the fall and winter. Cause this is literally just one of those tropical summery scents. So yeah. Lastly for my home fragrance items, y'all, I finished this Tiki Beach. I absolutely loved this room spray. I love this scent. This is another very tropical, beachy, fruity-esque type of scent. It just kind of smells kind of like a, you're drinking a pina colada on a beach. That's literally what it smells like. Perfect name for it and I highly recommend it. And it's just so hard to go to these room sprays y'all because they're so concentrated. Like you literally can fill up a room with one spray. So I'm trying desperately to go through my room spray collection. But at this point I have so many, even from last SAS, I have plenty to get me through the fall and the winter. So. I kind of want some room sprays, but I just really need to assess my collection and see what I have and see what I actually need. So, all right, y'all, let's get into the fun stuff, the hygiene, the body care, the skincare. Y'all know I have a little bit of everything. So now that the candles and the home fragrance is out of the way, let's get into the good juicy stuff. I'm empty this Olay Peach and Cherry Blossom Body Wash. Absolutely love the Olay body washes. I do think this one is like exclusive to like Costco and Walmart because I think I got this from Costco, but I really like this, especially for the summer. It was just a really juicy, peachy, like fresh peach with this slightly floral note in the background, which is really feminine and really girly. I loved to use this body wash when I was um, planning on wearing my Gingham Gorgeous or my, um, Floral Street Wonderland Peony, which I feel they smell very similar. So if you did not see that 
similar slash dupes video that I did of just since that remind me of each other. Definitely check that out. I will link it up at the top. It's kind of reminded me of those, just those very pretty, feminine, delicate, girly fragrances. And I absolutely love this one. So I would 100% repurchase it, but now I'm definitely kind of craving more of my fall gourmand bakery fragrances. So that is probably what I will be purchasing going forward finish this wrapped in vanilla y'all i think this was in my project use it up if i'm not mistaken this definitely smelled the best out of the wrapped in vanilla body care like better than the mist the body lotion i feel like this smelled the most like confectioner sugar buttercream icing just super bakery thick vanilla i absolutely loved this i'm sad i only got one shower gel but Oh well, girl, it is what it is. I would definitely repurchase it if they brought it back because I just loved using this. And I was mixing this, y'all, with the Tree Hut Watermelon Shower Gel. That combo was insane. So even going forward, like I think I'm gonna just use the Tree Hut Watermelon Body Butter and mix it with my Wrapped in Vanilla Body Creams because that scent, I don't know how I came up with that combo, y'all, but it literally smelled like a sugary, sweet watermelon candy like those those cream savers it just gave me like sweet fruity vanilla vibes and it smelled so good together so if y'all have those two items i definitely recommend y'all try that out and then speaking of tree hut i also finished my beloved coco colada this is the foaming gel wash i absolutely love this formula you guys it lathers up so well and it just literally fills your bathroom with the scent and this truly smelled like a pina colada being sipped out of a fresh coconut. So it smells incredible. It smells amazing. I absolutely love it. And I'm glad that I finished this during the summer and it did not carry over into the fall and winter when I really wasn't trying to have that vibe. You know what I'm saying? Going up with that, also finished the scrub. Y'all, I have gone through so many scrubs this summer. I'm very surprised that I only have one scrub in here. I honestly feel like I probably emptied more scrubs than this, but I may have just accidentally recycled them or I may have left them where I was because while I was traveling, I probably did not want to take trash back home with me. So there's that. But if you guys did not see my most recent fragrance and hygiene haul, definitely check that out. I will link it up at the top because I have officially like restock a lot of my tree hut scrubs so very proud of myself for the products that i have used up how many i've used up this summer and now i don't really feel as bad about hauling things going forward because i know i really have just been using up a ton of things so yeah absolutely love the tree hut scrubs y'all know i just use a ton of these and this was the perfect summer scent. I'll finish this therabreath little mini um i think i got like a six pack of these from amazon because I really did not want to travel with a huge gigantic one and these just are so convenient you literally can like throw them in your bag if you're going out to dinner or if you're going out to like a club and you're going to be drinking or if you're just traveling and you just want something with you on the plane like these are just bomb so i usually get the six pack from amazon um y'all know i will have everything linked in the description box if you are interested because it's been a lot harder to find the little singles of these at Walmart for whatever reason. So I just started getting the six packs girl and they just last a lot longer. So I finished my Cantu Skin Therapy Pump Lotion. Did recently speak about this in a summer favorites video, which I feel like we're getting close to that time for me to do another one because I have a bunch of new favorite products that I need to share with y'all. But I really, really enjoyed this y'all. I really, really enjoyed this, but I will say for whatever reason, Target has not had the pump version of this anymore. They only have the little body cream tube. So that is what I will have linked in the description box. Um, but I do want to try the coconut oil one. And then there's also like a mango line that I really want to try, which mango is going to be out of season so shortly, but I really don't care. I love mango year round. So yeah, but I really did enjoy this. I would absolutely repurchase it. This is my beloved strawberry and brown sugar. This definitely reminded me a lot of Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake. And I think this was also in my project Use It Up. I really, really love this, y'all. It literally smelled like strawberry candy. And I just really, really enjoyed using this. And I have recently picked up their newest line, the oat milk and coffee. So I talked about that in my last haul as well. So if you wanna hear my thoughts on that, definitely check that video out. I really like this. They're super moisturizing and the consistency, it's like truly a body cream. Like it's not super thick like a body butter, but it's also not as light as a body lotion. It's just the perfect kind of in-between mix. So if you guys have never tried this brand, 
definitely recommend checking them out. And then I did also empty two more body creams from my Project Use It Up. I did empty my Dahlia, which is pretty much very close in scents to Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. It also smells very similar to Coach Dream's Sunset. It's just a very sexy, sultry, pear, tonka bean kind of combo. And I also finished this Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow, which I was super close to just throwing this away, y'all, because these two body creams, both of them were from 2021 and they were already yellow and just when my body creams start turning super yellow, y'all, I just don't like using them. I have sensitive skin, so they usually make my skin itch and they just get clumpy and nasty and gross. So just a personal preference of mine, I try to make sure I use my body creams up like within a year or two, just because I find that once they start turning yellow, they start staining everything, they start getting stuck everywhere. And I just, I don't like using them. It just makes me feel gross. So I'm glad that I finally used these up and got them out of my collection. So finish one of my go-to body oils. This is the Palmer's Skin Therapy Oil. I absolutely love this oil. I empty this pretty regularly. If you watch any of my empties, I usually empty one of these, almost every empty or every other empties, I would say. It's just the perfect body oil for me because if you like oils like bio oil and you want something that helps to fade like stretch marks or scarring or just evening out your skin tone and also moisturizing, I prefer this over bio oil, number one, because of the smell. If you love the smell of like cocoa and shea butter and just that natural sweetness, I love how that smells and it just goes so well with any of my other like layering combos and lotions that I mix with it. But also, it's super moisturizing. I don't feel that it's sitting on top of my skin. And that's why I personally don't really like bio oil anymore because it always felt like it left kind of like this weird film on top of my skin. And it just had this weird smell to me. So I'm not really a bio oil kind of girl. But if you are looking for an alternative that does the exact same thing, it smells better in a better formula, in my opinion, definitely check out the Palmer's cocoa butter skin therapy. Something else that was in my project use it up that I finished is this falling in love body cream from philosophy. I absolutely love this. You guys, I would definitely not pay full price for it though, because this was like 60 or $70 for this size. When I picked this up, I think I got this from TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like super clearance, like $10. Cause I think somebody had taken off the safe, the safety film, but it literally was still unused. So I definitely scooped it up, used it up enjoyed this formula absolutely loved it i would definitely repurchase this they were selling this at nordstrom rack at one point but i think they have since sold out of it so i will try to link what i can if it's still available but if not if you guys ever see this in your local tj maxx or marshall's i definitely recommend picking it up and as far as this scent love the scent as well it was just a really sweet powdery vanilla <laughs> and y'all know i love sweet powdery vanilla so very calming and cozy. I was wearing this usually like when I would do my wind down routines at night and it was just super moisturizing. And also emptied the Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle. Now I know y'all see my nails are not super long right now, but y'all, when I was wearing like gel nails and just tips and things like that and doing a lot of press-ons, y'all, my nail bed was torn up and it was so weak. And since my hands stay pretty like wet consistently at work just washing my hands so much my nail bed was not super strong so y'all this stuff when you use it consistently not only does it strengthen your nail bed as a whole it literally makes it so hard but also it helps your nails to grow a lot so i did fall off from using this and this bottle is pretty old but i am going to repurchase this because I do wanna start back growing my natural nails and just wearing my natural nails. I've reached that point in my life where I just prefer my nails to either be bare or just extremely short because bartending with long nails, in my early 20s, it was cute and it was fun, but now that I'm in my early 30s, I'm just kinda like, I'm over that. I hate having my nails be in the way of things. So I just prefer the short nails. I just prefer that look. And I definitely want to work on growing my natural nails back out. And I highly recommend this product if you guys are looking for something to do. Also finished this Voiple edge control in the strawberry scent. Um, this edge control actually was really good. I got this randomly from my local beauty supply store because it was the only one that I could find. And it actually has really amazing reviews on Amazon as well. So I will provide the Amazon link if you guys are interested in trying this because I'm definitely probably going to repurchase this. I think they also have a peach scent as well. So 
I may try that one next go round, but definitely gave me a nice hold for my edges. It did not flake up and turn white and stiff, and it really held my edges down, which is very hard because I have super thick hair. So if you guys are in the market for a new edge control, I definitely recommend checking this one out. Also finished one of my tried and trues, my Eco Styler Original Olive Oil Gel. I empty this a lot. This is literally just my favorite Eco Styler Gel because it's the only thing that I can completely brush all the way through my hair. That does not make my hair hard, but it still makes my hair feel moisturized and slicked down. And I just love this the best out of all of the Eco Styler Gel formulas, so yeah. Also finished this Aunt Jackie's Coconut Cream Curl Boss Curling Jelly. Um, this one was okay. Honestly, I think this is best used on like wash and goes because I tried to use this as like a holding gel and it just did not really work out the best. So if I were to repurchase this, I would probably just use it for wash and goes and like pulling it through my curls and just wearing them and letting them air dry because I personally don't think this had the best hold for it to be considered a gel. So this is definitely more of a wash and go kind of gel and not really like a holding type of gel. I would definitely use like Eco Styler or something like that if that's what you're in the market for. So yeah. Would I repurchase it? Yes, I would just use it a different way other than how I was actually using it. Okay, y'all. Then I also emptied this, we're, we're getting into skincare now. So I also emptied this Glow Recipe Strawberry AHA Serum. Um, I really loved this when I first got this, y'all. But honestly, I think I didn't use this up fast enough. So typically with skincare, I've noticed, I try to use my skincare up within a year of me opening it and maybe even less than that because I noticed like, especially skincare that has actives in it like BHA, salicylic acid and things like that, they just aren't as effective if you don't use them up as soon as you open them. And I think that's what happened with this because I was noticing it was helping a lot with my skin texture and my scarring when I first started using it last year. But then I started using other things and I kind of forgot about this. So I wanted to go ahead and use this up and it definitely was not as effective as it once was. So would I repurchase this? Yes. But I just feel like it was not as effective um, after I had had it open for a while. So if you guys are interested in picking this up, I would definitely recommend using it up consistently and then judging for yourself like how it works for you because I think that's where I messed up. Oh, this empty pains me so much because number one, she's super expensive. And I was trying my best to make this stretch into the next Sephora sale. I should have just bought another one. But my beloved Sunday Riley, CEO Afterglow. Y'all look at, look at the inside of this. Literally scraped it clean. Like this is truly the best vitamin C moisturizer. This was like my go-to moisturizer in the daytime. It truly gave my skin the most juicy, bouncy, radiant freaking glow. Literally, like I would not even feel the need to wear makeup or anything when I was wearing this on my skin. I would just use this in my SPF and my skin would just have this radiant glowy from within look. And my skin just absolutely loves vitamin C. So will I be repurchasing this? Absolutely, freaking lootly okay? Like when the next Sephora sale runs around, I'm probably gonna get two of these because I don't wanna be without it. Like I even got one of these for my mom and she was like, I need another one of those. I need another one of those. So I know a few of you guys got your hands on this. Um, I auctioned off a couple in my last Whatnot live stream, and I may possibly try to auction off a few more in my streams this month. So if you guys have not tapped in with me on Whatnot, definitely check it out. I will provide a link in the description box so you can get $15 off your next purchase or your first purchase if it's your first time shopping with me on Whatnot because I have some amazing shows lined up. And so many of y'all have already been getting your stuff from my past few shows. So thank you guys so much for your support. Um, but yeah, I got off track. Absolutely love this. And I will definitely be repurchasing this as well as getting a backup. Something else that I recently auctioned off. So this is my Bobbi Brown Face Base Vitamin Enriched uh, Makeup Primer. Y'all know this is one of my favorite things. I've talked about it in a few favorites videos and empties at this point. It's one of the best makeup primers that I have ever used. And I just love it because... If for some reason you do skip your moisturizer before you do your makeup, this doubles as a moisturizer and a primer. So a lot of times when I use this, I will put this on my skin and completely rub it in and it just gives my skin this 
completely flawless, like blurred effect. But then I will go in and put a more tacky or balmy type of primer on top to truly give my face that like melted makeup effect. So I already have a backup ready to go that I've been using. So I have definitely like will never be without this product. This is just one of my faves, one of my go-tos. Even if I don't do a thicker primer, I just love using this even with just like a skin tint because it just helps to even everything and smooth everything out. So yeah, definitely love this. Also finished one of my favorite, if not my favorite concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. There are two formulas, but I prefer the hydrating because I find that it just has less likelihood to crease, especially under my eyes and things like that. So this was in the shade Medium Neutral, which I typically use to brighten my under eye area. I did find it was a little too bright this summer just because I was a lot more tan, but I will probably still repurchase this shade just to have as it starts to get cooler outside. I just love this, y'all, because not only is it super affordable, and you can just buy a whole bunch of different shades just to see which one works for you. Like sometimes I use one shade as a spot treatment. Sometimes I'll use one shade as a brightener. Sometimes I'll even use this just as a foundation, y'all, because literally one little dab of this goes such a long way. Like, and it has that big doe foot applicator. I just love this concealer, y'all. Like, I love this more than some of my super expensive concealers, and that just says a lot. So I have definitely gone back to using this concealer more regularly. And like I said, sometimes I use these shades closer to my skin complexion as like a foundation and a spot treatment, and I just absolutely love them. They have bomb coverage. They do not crease. I can't say the same about the other camo concealer formula because I do have that one, and I will use it when I have to, but... I definitely prefer the hydrating formula much more. Also finished this NYX Marshmallow Primer. I think I just got a bunch of these for free from Ulta, like in a haul, it's like a free gift. And it was okay. I don't really think I've used it enough to consistently know if it's amazing or not. But the fact that this little sample size didn't do a whole lot for me, I guess that says something. I probably would not purchase a full size of this just because I have other primers that I love even more, even in the more affordable range. Like if I'm looking for an affordable primer, I usually will use one from e.l.f. So this one was nice. I think I actually just like, I think I like the Plump It. Um, as far as primers from NYX, I like the Plump It Right Back primer a little bit more than this one. So would I repurchase this? Probably not if one of the other primers mentioned was available, but it was okay for it to have been a free product. And I also finished two little facial mists from Trader Joe's. So I finished this watermelon one. I actually ended up using this on my hair, you guys. Like I just loved the smell so much. I just started using it as like a hydrating hair mist. So really, really enjoyed this this summer. Just am weird about using scented things on my face. Like I don't think it caused irritation, but I just wasn't feeling using it on my face. And surprisingly, this was really refreshing and hydrating on my hair. And this one I did use on my face. This is the Rose Water Facial Toner. I was definitely using this. I was doing my skincare to kind of keep my face a little bit damp, which if you guys did not know, that helps your products to be absorbed a lot better. So I was definitely using this in between my skincare steps and I think it was definitely a nice little affordable toner and Trader Joe's just has some very bomb like affordable skincare. So if you have not tried any of their products, I definitely recommend you guys check them out. Also finished this Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Absolutely love this, you guys. I would definitely repurchase this in a heartbeat. Y'all know I absolutely love good molecules. The discoloration serum is like my baby. I absolutely love it. And I thought I would try out the toner and I was not disappointed with this either. So if you are someone dealing with like hyperpigmentation and just overall discoloration of your skin, highly recommend using this. It was like gentle enough for me to use in the morning and at night. So I do have another toner that I'm trying out that's new right now. So I'm going to test that, see how I like it. But I definitely foresee myself repurchasing this in the future as well. And then I also finished my beloved overnight sleeping mask from Onyx and Rose, which if you guys did not know, I am an affiliate with them. So if you do choose to shop the Onyx and Rose website, you will get 20% off with my code BOHOGURU. And that is on top of any sales they may have which they usually have sales pretty often. But y'all, again, scraped it because this is one of the best night creams I have ever used. 
If you find that your skin is inflamed or irritated, or even if you're having an active breakout and you don't wanna do too much, this not only helps to calm your skin, but it gives your skin this very nice, supple juiciness, and it just makes your skin literally look moisturized and glowy to the point that when you wake up the next morning, your skin still has that moisturized, dewy, glowy effect. And there's also CBD in it, so it's just very calming for your skin overall. And I just absolutely love this, you guys. Like if your skin is dry, this is usually what I use a lot in the colder months, but I was just loving it so much this summer that I have already gotten a backup already open and in use. So yeah, <laughs> let's jump into the supplements. We're gonna speed through because I saved literally the best part for last. Okay? I emptied these new chapter women's multivitamins. I love these because number one, you only have to take one a day, but they also give me a very similar like overall feeling of well-being, like how my garden of life ones do. And the Garden of Life ones are just crazy expensive these days, so I don't always wanna splurge on those. So I really, really like these. You've got a ton of just your daily um, requirements, but there is also a stress and energy support blend, a hormone blend, as well as an immune support blend as well. So really, really like these. You've got just a lot of wonderful things in here all in one pill. So you don't have to worry about taking one in the afternoon and one in the morning. Like I just cannot stay in vitamins where I have to do that because I never remember. So absolutely love these, highly recommend them. Emptied another Chlorofresh. Y'all know I empty this pretty regularly. This is basically just like an internal deodorant. Also helps with your skin being clear. Also helps with energy. Like just Google benefits of chlorophyll y'all and you will find a laundry list of things that this is good for. So highly recommend, I will forever repurchase. I do think I may have to switch to a different brand soon though, because I think this brand may have blown up on TikTok or something because when I last looked at it on Amazon, the price went up like crazy. So I would recommend looking for these in your local like Whole Foods or something like that where they may or may not be as expensive, but if not, I will still have them linked. Either way, I'm sure you can get the same effect from any other chlorophyll tablets. So yeah. Okay, y'all. I also finished the Hum Nutrition SOS PMS gummy. So let's talk about these, okay? So in my last haul, I told you guys, absolutely love these, have already repurchased another container, right? So basically when I first went through these, I was not taking them every day. I was only taking them like a couple of days before my period and then throughout my period. And I was like, okay, so I'm hearing and I'm seeing that I need to take these every day for them to be the most effective. Y'all, I totally messed up doing that because when I tell you this last period was utter chaos and just terrible for me, I literally was having migraines, I was having vertigo, I was nauseous, I could not eat. And I do think it was because I had been taking these for like 30 days consistently up to my period. And then one of the main ingredients in here is chasberry. So I did a little bit of research and chasberry, when you have too much of it, when you don't need it, can cause exactly the symptoms that I was having. So I think I did mess myself up taking these every single day. So for me personally, now that I know I have experienced that, I think I'm only going to take these on my period and hope that that helps to alleviate my symptoms because I do think it was just too much for my body personally to take these every day. And y'all know with things like this, you should consult with your own doctor or just you know experience things for yourself because when it comes to supplements, you're just not gonna have the same type of experience as someone else all the time. So I just thought I needed to update you guys and let y'all know that that was my experience. I do like these, but I think this next go round, I'm going to try and just use them only on my period. And I will update y'all on how that went. I also emptied this Nature's Way Slippery Elm Bark. Y'all, I don't know what it is about my 30s, but I have started experiencing the worst acid reflux. So I read that this is really good for acid reflux and it's supposed to help soothe the GI tract. And y'all, at first I really didn't believe that it was helping. But when I tell y'all, I went two days without taking this and my acid reflux like reared its head to the point where I could not sleep unless I was sleeping directly like at a 90 degree angle because I could feel the stomach acid wanting to come up. 
So yeah, y'all, if you struggle with that or if you are someone who is forced to eat late because you work late and you can't afford to like be up for two hours and letting your food digest, highly recommend checking out Slippery Elm Bark because this truly, truly, truly helps me out. And shout out to my girl, Kayla Michelle, for putting me onto these because I don't know why. I feel like I was taking these at one point, but then I kind of forgot about them. So she reminded me about these and I just had to go ahead and add it back into the routine, girl, because the acid reflux was acid refluxing, okay? <laughs> and I also emptied this Physician's Choice Women's Probiotic. I think I just spoke about these in a recent haul as well. I really, really enjoy these. Like these are definitely in my top two probiotics now. So I would highly recommend you guys check these out. Definitely gave me very similar effect to my Garden of Life ones, which I feel like are not as potent for me anymore because I'm just so used to taking them. So this was a nice little switch up and I'm probably going to permanently be using these. So if you ladies are not using a probiotic girl, what are you doing? Like. <laughs> You absolutely need this in your diet. There are just so many benefits of probiotic for your gut, for your vaginal health, your skin health, your digestive health, like just everything overall. And it's just one of those things that you really, really, really notice a difference in your overall health when you are taking a probiotic. Lastly, I have two supplements from my favorite brand, one of the Morning Person Gummies from Odyx and Rose. I spoke about these in a favorites video as well. These are just a great way to get in caffeine without having to have coffee or an energy drink because there's only 50 milligrams of caffeine in it. Um, so if you are someone that gets jitters when you consume caffeine, but you still want something that helps you feel awake and alert, highly recommend these because they do also have CBD which helps to kind of even out the caffeine and just give you a very clean source of energy where you don't have that crash. And they also don't taste half bad either. And I also finished this full bloom CBD oil. Now this one, you guys, this one does have a very small minuscule amount of THC in it. Back and forth between the full bloom and the pure bloom. The pure bloom does not have THC. So if you are trying it out for the first time, I would recommend just the pure. But since my body is pretty used to CBD at this point, I do opt to get the full bloom when I want something to take before bed. It just helped me have a very restful night of sleep. So if you have not looked up the benefits of CBD, highly recommend, and this is definitely a very reputable brand. Like all of their stuff is backed by scientists in a lab. So highly recommend checking this out. Very extremely high quality. And there are just so many products from this brand that I absolutely love and use and enjoy every single day. Okay, y'all, let's get to the final finale, the most exciting part, y'all. I have some items in here that I'm just very surprised and happy that I finally was able to finish, which some of them were in my Project Use It Up. So let's jump into so it. So I finished this little mini of Gingham Gorgeous. This was definitely a very pretty, likable, girly scent. It was like a fresh floral, a fresh fruity floral. So there was some peach in here, some strawberry, I don't even know if Bath & Body Works made this seasonal or not, because again, I have not shopped at Bath & Body Works all summer, but I'm kind of okay that I only got one of these. It was a one and done. I'm glad I experienced it, but I'm okay not having to repurchase this and add it back into my collection. I also emptied this Victoria's Secret Honey Mist, which this is the older packaging. They have redone the packaging for this, and y'all, I really, really like this. I feel like I decluttered one of these in a prior declutter video, but then I had another one and I started using it and it was a lot stronger than the other one that I had. I don't know how, but this reminds me so much of the Coco Shea Honey line from Bath & Body Works. Like this is the closest thing that I have smelled to that. And I was absolutely obsessed with it and I have no idea why they would discontinue that. So I know they brought back the Coco Shea line, but they did not bring back the Honey line. So whenever they do i will definitely be the first one at the door like stocking up on that because the honey line was just the best i just loved it there was a nice scrub there was an oil there was a body butter like i was holding on to my last little bits of the body butter for so long y'all and it just became my signature scent at one point because it was just this soft approachable sweet honey scent and it was just like not too loud but it layered well with everything and i just really loved it so I will definitely probably repurchase this in the newer packaging just because this is the closest thing to that Coco Shea honey line that I'm going to get. But I do have a body scrub, a body oil, and a body butter from this line at Victoria's Secret that I do need to use those up as well. So 
I will definitely probably get another mist just so I can have something to go with those. And this surprisingly too, y'all, was getting me a lot of compliments. Like I would just throw this on to go to the grocery store and I would have at least four or five people tell me that I smelled really good, so. Okay, now to start with the perfumes. The perfumes, y'all. Emptying a full-size perfume is just so satisfying, but I emptied my Floral Marshmallow from Dossier, which y'all know what's in my project, Use It Up. She is completely empty. Um, and y'all know, I love this. This is literally the best Killian Love Don't Be Shy dupe. Like, I don't think I will ever repurchase that just because this dupe is literally a third of the price and it smells incredible and lasts amazing. And this never failed to not get me a compliment. Literally, I could run to Walmart, the grocery store, the gas station. Somebody was going to smell me. Somebody was going to tell me I smelled amazing. Okay, so if you guys have not tried this, definitely try this out. This is definitely my favorite fragrance from Dossier. If you love the smell of Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, this is just such a warm, delicious, like, orange blossom, marshmallowy, vanilla, ambery scent. Like literally to the point, y'all, I think once I got halfway through this bottle, the juice turned into this very deep, like reddish color. And it just got so much stronger and smelled incredible. So yeah, y'all, I'm trying my best not to repurchase this right now because I do have so many new perfumes in my collection that I need to start using, but I would definitely 100% repurchase this for sure. Also emptied this mini travel size of Erin's Amber Musk, which I believe I recently spoke about this in a uh, Bath & Body Works dupes video as well. If you like the smell of ivory cashmere from Bath & Body Works or the smell of bear from Victoria's Secret, it's just one of those very pretty second skin like musky amber fragrances. There's literally not too much to it, except this one does have the addition of coconut and rose in it, which I feel gives it a very pretty creamy feminine vibe. And I really like it. It's nothing beast mode. This is definitely a very intimate scent. One of those scents you want to throw on where you don't want to announce yourself before you walk into a room but you want someone to smell you if they give you a hug type of scent. So yeah, would I repurchase it? I definitely would, but I do still have a full size bottle of this that I'm trying to get through. Finish this little mini of Floral Street Sweet Almond Blossom. I do have a full travel size. So the little 10, the little 10 ml um, travel size spray, which I do think I wanna try to finish that up as well because I absolutely love the scent, you guys. It's just such a pretty, juicy fresh fruity floral it's definitely not super gourmand but it's just very likable it's very uplifting and happy and another scent that is super slept on because it gets me an insane amount of compliments for some reason like more than my more expensive perfumes so if you have not checked out the sweet almond blossom i still highly recommend it i just think once the cooler weather hits i'm not really going to want to wear something like that so i do think i want to try to finish that before it starts to truly get cold outside because it's definitely one of those hot weather type of scents if that makes sense also finally finished my versace eros pour femme eau de toilette um this is another scent that was in my project use it up and i wanted to include this in my most worn summer fragrances video which if you did not see that definitely check that out i will link it up at the top i wore this a lot last summer too and i figured i was like let me just go ahead and finish this up because this is just an easy grab and go fresh fruity type of scent it's got some raspberry some lemon like if you like scents like moschino's toy 2 if you like um versace yellow diamond it's those types of scents those sugary candied raspberry and lemon type of scents. And I really like this one. It was really likable, easy to throw on. It wasn't super beast mode. It wasn't gonna make you feel weighed down in the heat. And while I am very happy and enjoyed it and I'm glad that I finished it, I probably won't be repurchasing this one anytime soon because I still have two other scents in my collection that remind me of this. So when I am in the mood to wear it, I will probably wear those instead. And lastly, you guys, lastly, 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 finally finished my Valentino Donna Born in Roma. You guys, this was such a satisfying empty because I truly love this scent, y'all. Truly love this scent. But when I tell you, the same day that I emptied this was the same day Sephora dropped the pink PP version of this. So... I'm so excited for that one to arrive. I'm so excited to get that one because I don't know how it's going to differ from this one. 
And I have done a full on review of the Valentino Donna Born in Roma Intense, which I was not really loving. I did end up giving that one to my mom and she really enjoys it. And I just prefer this one the most out of those two. So now that we have a linker in the line, I'm very excited to see how I feel about it because while I would 100% repurchase this, I do love the scent. It's just so sexy. It's a little bit spicy, a little fruity with that bourbon vanilla in the base. It's just super likable. Like this is one of those scents that will never fail to get you a compliment. And it's just so good, y'all. It's just so freaking good. It layers amazingly well. Like, oh, oh my God, it just smells so good. So I'm excited to smell the new one, see how close or how different it smells from this one because I would definitely repurchase this in a larger bottle in the future. But hopefully the new one smells just as good as this one. So I don't feel the need to have to do that right away. That is it for this empties. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products, if you're interested in trying any of them, if you guys have emptied anything exciting yourselves, y'all let me know in the comments below so we can chat it up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.